What up fellow nerds, welcome to today's video. In this video we're going to be creating the Facebook chat layout and we're not actually going to be creating any logic or any JavaScript for this. It's just HTML and CSS we're going to be creating in this video. And specifically the reason I wanted to create this video is because I really like the layout that they've got here with like the bubble type things. So with a message group for example, we've got three messages here and we can see it's got a nice rounded edge at the top and it doesn't become rounded like that again until the last message and the bottom is rounded. And as well as a couple of other things like a user icon for the sent user and when the user has read a particular message that you've sent as well as some icons to show that a message was sent but not read and the icon to show that the message was sent but not yet received. So let's make a start then. Let's create some code. I'm going to be using code sandbox for this. I'll leave a link in the description below to the template I'm going to be using. So what you want to do is just fork the template that I provide to you. And this is just going to contain a bunch of boilerplate styles and things like that. So what we want to do is open up index.html and start adding some code to the div tag whose ID is app. So the first thing we want to do is add, if we refer to the completed app, we're going to ignore the title, but we want to add a message group from a recipient. So let's create a new div within the app ID and we want to give this div a class of message group received. And the first thing we want to render is the user's profile image. So for this, I'm just going to be using a free API called Adorable IO. So within this message group received, let's render a div tag in here. And within this first div tag, we want to render an image tag with the source equal to HTTPS API.adorable dot io slash avatars slash 100. Now the reason we're putting 100 here is because we want to be returned an image of 100 by 100 pixels. Then after the 100 here, we just put any random string in here and it will generate a unique avatar for us. So I'm going to put web dev education dot png in there. And then we're going to close that image tag off and we can already see in the preview pane we've got our user avatar. So let's add some styling for this image then before we carry on with any more code. We want to target this message group received class and target the image within the first div rendered within the message group received. So let's go and head on over to styles.css and add a class style in here for message group received. And we want to target the div child of the message group received. But remember, we want it to be the first child. And then we want to target the direct image tag within that first div child. And let's give it a border radius of 50%, a height of 25 pixels, and a width of 25 pixels. And there we go. We can see in the preview pane that our image is updated. So let's go back to index.html then and add another div under that first div we created with the image. So in this second div now, we want to render our messages. So let's create a, another div with a class name of message received. And then within this message received, we want another div with a class name of message text. And then within this message text, let's just add some random text in here. Let's go, hey man, how's it going? And actually let's rename this class. So instead of message text, we want message received text. So let's actually create, if we take a look at the completed app, let's actually create the style then for these chat bubbles. So let's go back to styles.css and we want to target the message received class and we want to give it a max width of 75%, a margin of two pixels top and bottom, zero left and right, and a display of flex. Then we want to target the message received text class and give it a padding of 10 pixels, a min height of 20 pixels and a background color of 37, 37, 37. And we can already see in the preview pane, this is coming along really nicely. 
So then we want to add some border radius then. So let's add some border radius. We want four pixels on the top left, 20 pixels top right, 20 pixels bottom right, and four pixels bottom left. So then we want to target if this message received is the first child in the message group received. We want the border top left radius to be 20 pixels. And exactly the same, we want the last child to have a border bottom left radius of 20 pixels. So let's go ahead and target message received first child. And we want to target the message received text and give it a border top left radius of 20 pixels. And let's just copy this and paste it exactly the same for the last child, but we want the border bottom left radius to be 20 pixels. So then if we go back to index.html and we copy this message received and paste it underneath, so this is acting as our second message, we can see updated in the preview pane that the border has applied, it's created this nice grouped bubble here. So let's go ahead and create a, another message, just let's paste a third one in there and again, we can see the middle one hasn't been affected with the border radius, but the first one has with the extra border radius on the top left and the last one on the bottom left. So now let's fix our layout. We want this profile picture to be on the bottom left here and we want the profile picture and the message group to be in line. So let's go to styles.css. So we want to target the message group received. So let's go back to styles.css and at the top here, Let's go message group received. And all we need to do is set display to flex and a width of 100%. Then we want to target the first and last child. So first of all, let's target the last child and give it a flex grow of one. Because if you've noticed, our messages are no longer on one line where we do actually have space for them to be on one line. So let's go message group received targeting the direct div last child and let's give it a flex grow of one so that fixes the width issue then let's target the first child then let's go message group receive div first child we don't want a flex grow of one what we want to do is add a margin top of auto which will push the image down and then we just want a little bit of spacing between the image and the message group so let's go margin right five pixels and there we go this is looking really nice so let's add a margin bottom to the whole of this message group received let's go margin bottom 20 pixels and then now if we take a look at the completed project let's actually create some sent messages with the blue background so the logic is very similar but slightly different so if we go back to our code then and in index.html, let's create some new markup. Let's copy this entire message group received and paste it underneath that first message group received. However, we want this now to be message group sent. So let's go message group sent and we want to remove this first div here as well as the containing div for the message received. So let's remove that containing div there and we want to change this to message sent, message sent text. And let's do that for all of our instances in the message group sent div. So we want message sent and message sent text. So let's apply some styles to the message group sent, the message sent and the message sent text classes in styles.css. Let's go right at the bottom here and go message group sent. Let's add a width of 100%, a margin bottom of 20 pixels, a text a line of right then let's target the message sent class and give it a max width of 75 percent a display of flex then let's add a margin of two pixels on the top zero on the right two pixels on the bottom and auto on the left so from here then let's add that blue color to our chat bubbles let's target the message sent text and give it a background of 0099FF. And we want to give a border radius very similar to the message received text, 
but we want a 20 pixels on the top left, four pixels on the top right, four pixels on the bottom right, and 20 pixels on the bottom left. Then we want a min height of 20 pixels and a padding of 10 pixels. Then if you notice in the preview pane, our messages appear to be rendered in the center of the screen. So we need to push them to the right hand side. So all we need to do then is add a margin left of auto to the message sent text. And because the message sent is display flex, this will push the message sent text, which is a child of message sent to the right hand side when we add margin left auto to the message sent text. So then let's target the right hand corners of the message bubbles and add the extra border radius where it's needed. So let's target the message sent first child and we want to target the message sent text and we want a border top right radius of 20 pixels and let's copy this and exactly the same for the last child we want a border bottom right radius of 20 pixels so from here then we want to add a message status to see if the user has read these messages if the message was sent but not read and if a message was sent but not received so back in index.html underneath the message sent text for each of our message sent text, we want to add a div under that with a class of message sent status. We want to copy all these message sent status underneath every message sent text. Then we want to target this message sent status in styles.css. Let's go message sent status. We want to give it a width of 15 pixels, a display of flex, a margin left of five pixels, a font size of 15 pixels, and a color of RGBA 1341421530.5. So before we render any message sent status, let's copy some more data first. Let's just copy what we've got here, the message group received and the message group sent. Let's copy all of that and render it exactly the same again. So we've got some more data to work with here. So in the first message group sent, we want to target the last message in the message group. And this is where we want to add something within our message sent status. So within this message sent status, we want to add an image. Actually, let's scroll to the top here to find our image with the avatar. Let's copy that and render it down here in the message sent status. So then we need to target this image then from the message sent status class in styles.css. Let's go message sent status and the direct image child. And we want it to have a width of 15 pixels, a height of 15 pixels, a border radius of 50% and a margin top of auto. So then let's target this last group then in index.html. We want to add a font awesome icon at the bottom here. So in we've got message group received. We want to go to the last message group sent and the last message sent status. So for the last message here, the message sent status, we just want to add a I with a class of FAR, FA check circle and close off that I tag. So we can see here, we've got the icon check. We just need to style this appropriately then. We need to target then the message sent status, the direct I and give it a margin top of auto. So if we go back to index.html for this second message in the group of messages, let's just copy this I tag here. Let's paste it in there. But instead of the FAR FA check circle, we want the FAS FA check circle. So this indicates that all the messages from this message here to this message here have been sent, received, but not read. And this last message was sent, but not received. So I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel for similar content. And if you enjoyed this video, you're definitely going to enjoy my CSS e-commerce layout from scratch. So I'll leave a link in the description below to that video as well. Thank you very much for watching and I will catch you in the next video.